Hi guys, it's me, Jessica. So I am here to explain to you all how I got a 95 on the T's test and how you can too. So the T's test for everyone who doesn't know, you probably do because you're watching my video, is a nursing exam that is an entrance exam to nursing programs. And usually for a lot of programs, there are minimum grades that you can get. So it can be very stressful because you do all of this work and put all of this time and you have this dream to be a nurse. And if you don't score high enough on this test, then you can't even apply. So um, it can be really nerve wracking. And I completely understand that the whole time when I first got the books and then was studying, I was like, oh my God, you're gonna fail, you know, <laughs> no. but. So we want to make sure that you are accurately prepared and have everything that you need to take this exam. So this is what I did. So first thing I did is I bought the ATIT's manual. Um, in the manual, it covers all of the topics that are in the T's exam. So you have um, anatomy and physiology, chemistry, biology, math, English, grammar, reading. It gives you a brief outline of the things that you need to know. The ATIT's manual is not enough. That is the biggest issue I think that people have taking this exam and why people have to take it more than once is because you could memorize the entire ATIT's manual and you will not do well, specifically on um, anatomy and physiology and the sciences because it just gives you a brief overview of the systems. It doesn't break it down. It is important that we break it down and we'll get into that. So uh, what I did first is I read through the ATIT's manual and um, I did the practice problems that are in there. They have um, a few practice problems. It's not like a big book of practice problems. It's you know, there's probably like 200 practice problems in there maybe, which isn't a lot for all the different sections. So on top of that, I got another book that was um, practice exams and also breaks down the chapters a little bit more. Um, it wasn't by ATI, it was by a different company, but I just got it at Barnes & Noble um, and I'll link it below uh, what it was called. So first I read through the ATI manual. Then I read through the second book that I got and did some practice problems. Um, when I was in the ATIT's manual and I went through the practice problems, the ones that I got wrong, I had um, a journal that I would write down the whole question, uh, what I what the right answer was, and then whatever the other answers were, I would break them down and I would write out like what they were because most likely that is going to be the material that you are getting tested on. So specifically this is for science because obviously reading ones you can't really like break it down, but you know, if they're asking you something about the kidneys and they give you, and you get the answer wrong, well the other three answers are also going to be science related and could be related to questions that you're gonna get on the T's. So specifically for the science, that's what I did. Um, then in my little notebook, I went to the ATI's manual, this is also for science. So in the science section, they give you a brief overview it is not enough to know all the material in the T's manual, they don't break it down enough. So what I did is I went through it like, so say that the first section is on the skeletal system. So um, I would go into my notebook and I write like skeleton system at the top and then this is the key <laughs> to like the science section at least, this is the key. I went online to, there were a couple of different resources, um, Khan Academy, which is a YouTube channel, Crash Course, which is also a YouTube channel. Um, and so I started there and I would watch the videos on all the different anatomy systems because I did not take anatomy when I took the T's exam. So if you've already taken anatomy, you may not have to break it down um, this much, but if you haven't taken anatomy before you're taking the T's exam, it's very important that you understand all the systems of the body, which sounds very difficult, it really does, but if you just watch the videos, they literally break it down so easy and so well. So I would just watch, you know, the 20 to 30 minute video, it does take time. Um, and I would write notes in my little notebook. And to be honest, I mean, writing the notes and watching the videos, I pretty much had it at that point. I didn't need to review too much after that. Like the notes, like I didn't sit there for hours and read through my notes. It's like, 
you break it down, you understand how the system works, you understand the things in the system, and then when you go through the practice problems, if you happen to get something wrong in like one or two or three systems, then you can go back and look at those notes. But um, it's pretty straightforward. I would say that the tease is not trying to trick you in their questions. Like they are very straightforward, but you need to understand the system. So, you know, it's just finding the things that you know and the things that you need to work on and the things that you do need to work on, those are what you kind of um, spend more time doing. Maybe about two and a half months um, I studied for the T's, but I was also working and um, doing other things. So I wasn't, it wasn't every day super, super studying. It was probably like eight hours a week I was studying. So um, up until, you know, maybe two weeks before and then I was doing like four hours a day really making sure to drill all the information into my mind. Um, but if, let's say, you only have a month or a couple of weeks, it is totally doable, but you know, you're really gonna have to be diligent to like really watch all of those videos and do all, and read through the ATI's manual and do all the practice questions. So, all right, so moving past the science section, let's go to the math section. So I scored a perfect 100 on the math section. How you can score a perfect 100 on the math section is to do the practice math questions and master them. They are the same material, like literally the same, not the same question because there's different numbers and there's different figures. Like sometimes, you know, find the area of the triangle, find the area of the circle. Um, if there's a circle and there's a part that is like um, colored in darker, what is the area of that dark area? like? Those questions, if you can understand those concepts and they're the same concepts that are in the practice questions, then you are golden because they are literally <laughs> the exact same. So just master that um, information. So yeah, for the math, super easy. Just understand um, the concepts. And if you don't understand the concepts, that's where YouTube comes in. Khan Academy is amazing because they have a lot of prep stuff for the MCAT as well. So they will literally show you anything that you need to know um or just like youtube in general um i find is really great so so going into the english and grammar section this for me was the hardest i find that these concepts are very difficult to grasp and also there's only 20 questions for me that section was the hardest because you can't get that many questions wrong to score high the best prep idea would be the mamametrics.com or like summary videos for that specific section. And for that, I printed out a lot of um, high school like grammar worksheets and would go through and be like, you know, find finding the different parts of the sentences and the nouns and the adjectives and do you use a comma or a semicolon, just like some worksheets like that um, to try and help me grasp those concepts. And then after that is the reading section. So the reading section is super, super similar as well to the practice problems. So as long as you do well in the practice problems for that, uh, you should be fine. After all of that, once you've grasped all of those things and you have all of your information that you need to study, your worksheets, your YouTube videos, um, you have your manuals that you've read through. So before I started anything, what I did is I read through both the manuals. I got two, I got the ATI manual and then the practice exam uh, questions, which also had information on each chapter, like breaking it down. So, and then I went through and I did my, my notebook and my worksheets and my YouTube videos. After that, I ordered the two practice exams on the ATI website. They are expensive and I literally debated for weeks about buying them because I'm like, they're almost as much as taking the exam. Do it. Set up exactly like the ATIT's exam and it is the best way to, before you get, because when you go in there, you're like, don't know what to expect. It's like even the calculator they have on the page is like set up the same way as the um, exam. So there's two exams. Um, for the practice exams. The practice exams, the first one, I scored in the upper 80s. So I wasn't in the 95 percentile, but what it allowed me to do is see my weak areas. So I went back through and I took a week reviewing those things. So now we're like two weeks before the exam. And I took the second practice exam. I had a timeline for myself. And that day I just really wasn't feeling good. I wasn't doing anything. I scored in the 70s. I did not do well. Um, and I just was like, oh my God, what did, like, I'm getting worse, like, I'm going to, and that really, like, threw me for a loop, and it was very stressful, so 
But instead of letting it get me down, I went back through every single question I got wrong, why I got it wrong, wrote it out, did all of those things. I think finding your weak point and really just like drilling that in for you is um, really important. So night before the exam, I know it sounds really lame, but um, I ate really well. I went to bed early. It's really important to know know your weakness. Awareness of yourself and the way you function is what's going to allow you to make changes in your behaviors to benefit yourself. So I knew I needed to make sure I ate good. I went to bed early because I do get nervous before things and then I don't sleep. So I put myself into bed. Like I got up early the day before so that by the time it was time to go to sleep, I was ready to go to sleep. So, um, sorry, my phone was ringing. So I went to bed, ate good. Then the next morning I woke up and I gave myself an extra hour. So I did yoga. I did uh, drank my coffee. I arrived like 30 minutes early. And good thing that I arrived 30 minutes early because you can't bring your stuff in there. So I had to go in. I had to go out, like put it back in my car. And if I was running late, I probably would have been so stressed out and overwhelmed. So really give yourself time so that if things, certain things happen, you're not stressing. Um, when I sat down to take the exam, uh, what works for me is doing 10 deep breaths. I know it sounds really lame, but every time I take a test and I do that, I do really well because it calms me down. I know that I am an anxious person, so anything that's going to calm me down and um, you know make me do well. So that could be something too in your little notebook. Write your, um, you know, like being aware of your behaviors and what maybe write like five things that you feel you need to do for yourself to do well on the exam. Um, so, so yeah, that is kind of the summary of how I got a 95 on the T's test and you can too. It's just putting in the effort, putting in the time and the energy um, and just remember that you can teach yourself anything. And if I can do it, then you can do it. So I wish you all the best of luck. Also, another great resource is allnurses.com. There is um, a section where somebody goes over the different things that are on the T's. And um, I also printed that out and went through and made sure that I understood all of those things as well before I took the exam. So, so yeah, I wish you all the best of luck. You all will make wonderful nurses. And just remember, if you don't do well the first time, you can always take it again. And that's what I told myself. So, um, yeah. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>